For many centuries, humans viewed the universe as a simple place. We believed Earth was the center of all existence, with the sun, stars, and other celestial bodies orbiting around us in perfect harmony. This perception was largely due to our natural tendency to place ourselves at the center of everything. Hello and welcome to ZE. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. We embarked on a journey that led us to discover our true place in the sprawling Milky Way galaxy. This journey of cosmic discovery is a fascinating tale of determination, innovative thinking, and scientific breakthroughs. To pinpoint our location within the Milky Way, it is essential to understand the true structure of our galaxy. The night sky provides the first clues, revealing a faint, luminescent band of stars, a celestial ribbon we recognize as our galaxy. This band-like formation suggests that we inhabit a flattened disk rather than a spherical structure. If our galaxy were spherical, stars would be evenly scattered across the sky. The band bisecting the night sky indicates that we exist within its plane, neither above nor below it. It remains impractical for us to leave this plane to gain a full perspective of the Milky Way's shape. Such a journey would require traversing hundreds or thousands of light years perpendicular to this plane. For context, consider Voyager 1, the most distant human-made object. Despite its nearly half-century of space travel, it has only covered a distance equivalent to 0.02 light years. This underscores the vast distance we would need to travel to fully observe the Milky Way. However, the lack of technology for direct observations did not prevent us from determining the shape of our galaxy and our place in it. The first significant step in this journey was taken in the 18th century by William Herschel, known for discovering Uranus in 1781. Herschel was not just an astronomer. He was a map maker of the cosmos. His primary tool was a handmade telescope, allowing him to peer deeper into the cosmos than anyone before. Herschel was a bold thinker, daring to map the stars of the Milky Way. In the late 1700s, with his sister Caroline, he embarked on a grand project. He divided the night sky into 600 zones and, with relentless patience and precision, cataloged the position and brightness of each observable star. His process involved viewing the sky through his telescope and marking the star's positions on a grid. His meticulous star count led him to propose that our galaxy was a disc-shaped structure. His observations suggested that our solar system was close to the center of this structure. However, Herschel's map was not entirely accurate due to his unawareness of interstellar dust, which blocks our view of stars in the Milky Way's central region. Despite its inaccuracies, his map was a major breakthrough, showing the Milky Way as a disk and providing important clues about its structure. To introduce the next significant figure, we jump to the 20th century and the Harvard College Observatory, where a curious astronomer with a deep fascination for the universe observed something extraordinary. Her discovery revolutionized astronomy and changed its course forever. In the theater of cosmic discovery, every star plays a part. This applies not only to celestial bodies, but also to the pioneering minds who uncover the universe's mysteries. Henrietta Swan Leavitt, an American astronomer, made significant contributions to our understanding of the cosmos, informing our knowledge of our place within the Milky Way. Levitt focused on a unique type of star known as Cepheid variables. These stars pulsate, growing brighter and dimmer over regular periods. At the Harvard College Observatory, Levitt cataloged 1,777 variable stars and in 1908 observed a direct relationship between their luminosity and pulsation periods. Brighter Cepheids pulsed more slowly than fainter ones. This profound relationship, now known as Levitt's Law, allowed astronomers to determine the distance to Cepheids by measuring their pulsation period, establishing Cepheids as standard candles for measuring astronomical distances up to 20 million light years. Now, you might wonder how this helps us understand our position in the Milky Way. Enter Edwin Hubble. Before the 1920s, many scientists believed the Milky Way was the only galaxy in the universe. We had images of neighboring galaxies like Andromeda, but they were thought to be star systems within the Milky Way. 
With advancements in telescopes, some began to question this theory, noting vague patches in the sky that didn't resemble typical star formations. A major challenge was measuring distances to stars, which vary greatly in size and brightness. One method was based on apparent brightness, but a distant large star could seem as close as a smaller, nearer star. This is where Levitt's work was critical. She showed that Cepheid variables could determine distances up to 20 million light years. Inspired by this, Hubble measured the distance to the Andromeda galaxy using a Cepheid variable. He discovered Andromeda was approximately 930,000 light years away, far beyond the Milky Way. Although this distance is about a third of the currently accepted value, Hubble's estimation confirmed Andromeda's location outside the Milky Way, reshaping our understanding of the universe. The discovery that Andromeda is a flattened disk of stars, like the Milky Way, raised questions about our own galaxy's structure. Here, American astronomer Harlow Shapley's work is crucial. Initially, Shapley believed everything visible was part of the Milky Way, a view Hubble's research disproved. By the early 1920s, Shapley corrected his view and cataloged galaxies, documenting 1,249 in six years. From 1914 to 1918, Shapley used the powerful Mount Wilson Observatory's 60-inch telescope to study globular clusters, dense groups of stars forming spherical shapes. These clusters, some over 10 billion years old, are found above or below the galactic plane. Shapley discovered they were arranged in a spherical pattern around the galactic core, especially towards the Sagittarius constellation. If we were near the Milky Way's core, we would see globular clusters scattered across the sky. Instead, most are visible near the galactic center, indicating our position towards the outer arm. Shapley's calculations overshot our distance from the galactic center, estimating 33,000 to 90,000 light years. Modern astronomy has refined this to about 26,000 light years, placing our solar system in the Orion arm between the Sagittarius and Perseus arms. The Milky Way, our home, is an elegant spiral of starlight in the cosmic abyss. Our understanding of its design, vast composition, and our place within it has been clouded by the immensity of the task, until now. Enter Gaia, the European Space Agency's celestial cartographer. Launched in late 2013, Gaia embarked on a mission to create the most comprehensive 3D map of our galaxy. Surveying approximately 1 billion stars, Gaia is charting the cosmos, allowing astronomers to study the Milky Way structure, dynamics, and evolution. Gaia's data reveals the galaxy's overall structure, including star distribution, spiral arm arrangement, and the nature of the galactic bulge and halo. This helps refine our understanding of our position within the Milky Way and its context in the local universe. Gaia represents a significant leap in astrometry, the study of celestial bodies' positions and motions. While not as famous as the Hubble or James Webb Space Telescopes, Gaia is revolutionizing our understanding of the Milky Way. Its precise and comprehensive data will fuel discoveries for decades, advancing our cosmic journey into the universe's mysteries. Ending Earth's location within the vast expanse of the Milky Way galaxy has been a remarkable journey of astronomical discovery and technological advancement. Here is a detailed account of how we pinpointed our place in the cosmos. Early Understanding and Misconceptions In ancient times, the perception of Earth's place in the universe was limited to geocentric models, where Earth was considered the center of the universe. This belief persisted until the heliocentric model, proposed by Copernicus in the 16th century, positioned the Sun at the center of the solar system. However, the broader location of our solar system within the Milky Way remained unknown. The Milky Way and Early Observations the Milky Way has been observed since ancient times as a diffuse band of light stretching across the night sky. Galileo Galilei, in the early 17th century, used his telescope to resolve this band into individual stars, realizing it was a vast collection of stars. The 18th and 19th centuries, mapping the Milky Way. In the late 18th century, astronomers like William Herschel attempted to map the Milky Way by counting stars in various directions. Herschel proposed a flattened, disc-like structure for the galaxy with the Sun near its center. This was a significant step, but still inaccurate. Discovering our galactic neighborhood. The 20th century brought significant advancements. Harlow Shapley, in the 1910s, studied globular clusters, 
spherical collections of stars, and their distribution around the Milky Way. He discovered that these clusters were not centered around the Sun, but around a point thousands of light years away, indicating the true center of the galaxy in the direction of the constellation Sagittarius, radio astronomy, and the galactic center. The development of radio astronomy in the mid-20th century allowed astronomers to peer through the interstellar dust that obscures much of the Milky Way's structure in visible light. In the 1950s, the 21 cm hydrogen line emission was used to map the spiral arms of the Milky Way, providing a clearer picture of its structure and confirming that our solar system resides in one of the outer spiral arms, specifically the Orion Arm, or Orion Spur. The Distance to the Galactic Center Accurate measurements of the distance to the galactic center have been achieved using a variety of methods, including the observation of variable stars like Cepheids and R. Lyrae, and later, more precise parallax measurements from space telescopes like Hipparchos and Gaia. These measurements place the solar system about 25,000 to 28,000 light-years from the galactic center. Current Understanding and Ongoing Research Today, we understand that the Milky Way is a barred spiral galaxy with a central bar structure and multiple spiral arms. The solar system is located in the Orion arm, between the larger Sagittarius and Perseus arms. Our location is about halfway from the center of the galaxy to its outer edge. Thank you for watching and see you next time.